zero factorial equals one. But why and how? If you started probability in your algebra two or your pre-calculus class, you're probably going over factorials. And we know that factorials, example, if we have three factorial, we know that you multiply in descending order. So you start with three and you go lower each time until you get to one. So this is six. If we start with five factorial, you start with five and then you subtract by one every single time. And we know one factorial is just one, but zero factorial is also one. Why? Well, factorials follow a general formula like this. n factorial is equal to n times n minus one factorial. And we can just check this really quick with, let's say three. So if we start, if we let n equal three, three factorial is equal to three times three minus one factorial, which is equal to three times 2 factorial. And if we plug in the same formula up here, we will get 3 times uh, 2 times 2 minus 1 factorial, which will give us 1 times 1 minus 1 factorial, which we know is just 0, and 0 factorial is, well, 1. So we know the formula works. So let's try it using n equals 1. Now according to the formula, we plug in 1 factorial and n is 1 times 1 minus 1 factorial. So 1 factorial is equal to 1 times, and we know 1 minus 1 is 0, and we get 0 factorial. And we already know 1 factorial is 1, so we get 1 equals 1 times 0 factorial. If we divide this 1, we get the expression 0 factorial equals 1. It must equals 1. And that is how you can derive zero factorial equals one. Now, another logical way to think of it, if the mathematical way doesn't really like make sense to you, is think of zero as nothing. Factorials are just a method in combinatorics and combinations and permutations on how to different ways that you can arrange something. And how many different ways can you arrange zero? Only one way. You can only arrange nothing one way. So that's another way to look at it. But this is the mathematical way to derive it in case, because some people are confused and some math teachers don't really go into the depths of why zero factorial equals one. And I just wanted to show you. Thank you for watching.